Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to download building footprint data for any location of the world using Google Earth Engine. Google Earth Engine is not that much complicated the way we think it is. Simply we have to search open buildings uh, v3 polygons. It will uh, take us to the interface of Google Earth Engine. Simply you uh, have to do some registration um, in uh, to open an account and uh, use Google Earth Engine. There are uh, so many videos available how you can do that. So I'm not going to that. Uh, you can see if I go to the this first website appear uh, in my search. Uh, this is the data for the building footprint of the whole world. We can just get the shape file out of it according to our region of interest. You can see that uh, the feature uh, collection um, is of the buildings available for 2023 actually go the google earth engine has so many data available we can use any of them according to uh, our interest the code is written in javascript actually we do not need to know that much coding to uh, work on google earth engine simply some of the scripts are already written you just have to know how to use those if we click here it will uh, take us uh, to this interface where it is asking me that using which google account uh, i am going to uh, start scripting or do my coding or just run uh, google earth engine i am taking uh, this uh, google account you just have to do some registration uh, then you will be able to use it very easily now you can see that this is the code editor interface of google earth engine uh, at the very middle part we actually uh, run uh, do the coding we you don't have to do that much coding just uh, you have to learn how to use this as you can see that they have already provided us with the codings okay here are also three options one of them is the assets and this is uh, i will talk about it uh, as well okay as a, you can see that uh, if we run this code we will get the building footprint of the whole world let's uh, have a look that what it actually gives us what the feature collection actually has it has the building footprint of the whole world you can see that now the footprints are appearing here uh, this is the region of the uh, a place of nigeria as it is given as the map center we can simply uh, modify it according to uh, our choice you can see that there are three layers where buildings are uh, created with higher and lower confidence uh, we will get all of them and you can simply uh, delete or add any buildings that you find to be uh, wrong in uh, these data sets but most of them are quite correct as i have already used many of them okay uh, now uh, it is available for the whole world i'm going to download the building footprint for dhaka city um, uh, which is the city of bangladesh and uh, I'm, I'm just going trying to view that city here you can see that if i zoom in to the city uh, the building footprint will also be visible uh, you can see that the layers uh, are loading there okay you can see that the um, whole building footprints are appearing one by one actually it, it is a very large data sets created with uh, AI and uh, some other uh, processing by Google Earth uh, engine and um, other uh, secondary um, organizations okay now as we need uh, the building footprints of only the Dhaka city we have to upload the shape file of Dhaka city simply go to this assets and go to this new to add uh, any GOT file or uh, shape files or CSV files according to uh, your region of interest I'm going to uh, simply upload the shape file the projected shape file of Dhaka city uh, you can see that we have to give uh, these um, files to ultimately get the shape file of Dhaka city I already have the shape file uh, I'm just giving it a name here from uh, my folder of my computer I'm just uh, uploading the projected uh, shape file of Dhaka city corporation 
we have to give uh, all of the files related to the shape except the sbx one so i'm not giving it there now uh, if we click on open then simply click on upload it will be just uploaded in the assets part uh, of google earth engine if we go to this tasks uh, tasks option you can see that the dhaka city shape file is uploading here is it is on the process of being uploaded so that we can use it in our script and simply uh, just uh, clip our region of interest which is the Dhaka city and to get the building footprint of only Dhaka city you can see that uh, the process is completed it is pointing a tick mark there now simply if we refresh here we will be, we will be able to see that our dhaka shape is here to import it to our script you have to just click on here and click here to import it into script and simply the uh, uh, dhaka city shape file has been um, taken into the script now we have to just give it a name the uh, this shape file a variable or a name i'm giving it uh, as the roi the region of my interest now we want this feature collection to be clipped according to our region of interest for that you, you just have to write a very simple code like dot filter bounds and uh, in bracket you have to give the roi you can name it uh, any uh, anything according to your uh, interest your preference you have to give a semicolon and if we run now uh, we will be able to see the building uh, shape building footprint or simply the polygons of uh, buildings for dhaka only it is showing uh, still the region of uh, nigeria because the map center was given nigeria here uh, you can just remove it and uh, change it according to your choice now if we go to the region uh, to our region of interest we will be able to, we will be able to see that dhaka city uh, only has the building footprint showing uh, as we have clipped uh, the uh, whole uh, clipped the data set for only our region of interest okay if we zoom in here we will be able to see that now the layers are showing only the buildings of bangladesh as you can see that uh, google earth engine is not that much tough just um, you have to know the uh, interface a little bit more if we zoom in here you will be able to see that the uh, building footprints of dhaka city are appearing so we have successfully cut out or uh, extracted our region of interest the building footprints of our region of interest now we just have to uh, export this um, buildings in our uh, computer that to do that uh, we simply have to get this um, uh, clipped buildings to our google drive actually it is a built-in process in google earth engine it, it is a way how we can import any kind of um, data that we have created in our google drive we cannot uh, simply directly import it on a, in our computer simply we have to uh, get it get the data in our uh, google drive and then from google drive we can download it in and use it uh, for our purposes in the computer you can see that i'm writing export table to drive what is the name of the collection it is given t the variable name is t you can see here which can be anything you can change it according to your wish as it is here uh, named as t variable i'm just naming it as the collection t giving it a description simply it is the name or it will be the name of the file you can name it uh, anything you want i'm naming it as uh, open buildings dhaka then you can just follow this code to uh, 
uh, export it according to your wish now you can create a folder in which you want to get this file I'm just uh, naming uh, it as a GEEBF tutorial building footprint tutorial it will be stored in this folder in my Google Drive account the file format here will be the GeoJSON because sometimes uh, it gives some errors if we directly uh, try to get it in shape files now if you simply run you can see that uh, I missed uh, I missed a comma maybe so I'm giving it here okay it is uh, as you can see that it is uh, quite very easy uh, you can uh, do like the processings of ArcGIS and ArcMap and ArcGIS Pro here in Google Earth Engine it is actually giving us an interface uh, online uh, that is the thing if we run it now again if we run it you will be able to see that there is a task appearing here named as okay now as you can see that uh, there is a task appearing named uh, open building uh, Dhaka we will just have to run it to get it uh, get this output in our Google Drive folder okay you can see uh, the info that we have already given there now you just have to click on run and after some times this um, output will be stored in your uh, Google Drive folder now remember that uh, it will be stored in the Google Drive folder in with which Google account you are now doing all the scripting so you uh, I hope you understand that it will be automatically stored in that Google account which you are now using uh, to script in Google Earth Engine you can see that the task has already been completed and uh, it is appearing here in my Google Drive folder now simply you have to download it from here which I have already downloaded now you just have to open the ArcGIS Pro interface to convert this GeoJSON file to a shape file if you click on um, map here you can simply create a project in any folder you want to rename it uh, rename it rename it according to your choice uh, we are doing this part in Google uh, in ArcGIS Pro this conversion part of uh, converting the GeoJSON file to shape file because ArcMap doesn't have that tool but ArcGIS Pro uh, does have that tool uh, we will uh, know, try to know more about ArcGIS Pro we do not need this map so I am just clicking this away and uh, it is not that much complicated uh, as well like ArcGIS Pro simply if you want to get that catalog pane go to view and click uh, click here on catalog uh, pane to just add any folder connection and uh, get your data uh, in this interface like it's quite just like arc map if you connect anything it will appear here now actually we do not have to get our geojson file here we just to uh, you just have to do the geo processing we will just uh, try to uh, search for the tool which is the json to features tool we will use it to convert the geojson file that we acquired from google earth engine to convert that um, data into uh, shape file okay simply here you have to input that geojson file that we got from uh, google earth engine simply you can see that i kept it in here and we i will uh, simply um, input it here now we uh, also have to um, give the name of the output feature class we will uh, save it as uh, dhaka Dhaka shape and give it the extension of dot shp as we want it to be in the form of a shape file you can see that it will uh, appear in polygon type now if you click on run simply your uh, process will be completed uh, within some moments actually I have taken a very large data so in my case it will uh, take a very long time because there are uh, thousands of buildings in Dhaka city 
so simply now you can see that our process is completed and uh, we have got the shape files of Dhaka city now you can use it according to your preference and open it in ArcMap for further processing thank you for watching the video if you have any questions you can let me know in the comment sections below